Today, I'm gonna to share how I made my first $100,000 online. I'm also gonna share a three-step process that you can use to replicate this and make your first or next $100,000 online as well. Now, I've been a full-time entrepreneur for about six years now. I've generated millions in online sales between my business and client businesses, but there's really something special about that first $100,000 you see in your bank account, and it's strictly from an online business. So it was definitely a special moment for me. And so I wanna share that with you, and I wanna share how I did that. Now, this is not some passive income story. This takes work. It takes a lot of effort. It takes perseverance over a long period of time. So if you're expecting some kind of passive income trick to make $100,000 tomorrow, this is not going to be it. But if you're willing to put in the work and you're willing to actually go out and get after it, this is totally possible for you to do as well. So let's dive into how I made my first $100,000 with an online business and how you can do the same right now. Now, quick backstory. Back in 2016, I had a nine to five as a project manager. I was making about 75 k a year, but I did not like the job. I hated it. I hated going into work every day. I wasn't a fan of the team and the people I was working with. And I just knew it wasn't a long-term thing. I wasn't going to last there. And I just wasn't built for a nine to five job, especially at that place at the company I was at. So while I was at that job, I would take a portion of my salary and use it to fund my online business. My first successful online business was actually an e-commerce business where I was selling physical products. The first product I sold was an Amazon FBA product. I had to buy 10,000 units up front. It actually sold out and it was a knockoff of a Yeti tumbler. And Yeti is a very well-known brand. You can type it into Amazon and Google. You can find the different products that they have but I have a couple of the products here. These are my first products I ever sold. And so the brand was called Blizzard and I got a small version too. And this was my first ever online business, e-commerce business that was profitable. So I sold about 10,000 units of these tumblers, but the problem was I had to put a lot of money down up front and I had to wait two to three months for that inventory to ship to Amazon and be ready to be sold. So in the middle of those two to three months, I was just twiddling my thumbs and just waiting for the inventory to come. And I didn't like that. I did like the e-commerce industry though. I liked finding and selling physical products to people and making them happy. And so I wanted to stay in this industry and I found out about a model called drop shipping. A drop shipping is e-commerce. You're still selling physical products, but it was great because I didn't need to carry any inventory. I could find a product. I could be selling it within a few hours and be making sales. And my supplier would ship the product directly to my customer. I didn't need to buy 10,000 units up front. So my only job was the marketing and sales portion. I would go out, create some advertising, sell the product and my supplier would ship it out to my customer as soon as an order came in. So I really liked the drop shipping model and I started my first store and it was in the fashion niche and specifically the steampunk niche. So steampunk, if you Google steampunk, you will see it's used in movies like Mad Max. People wear that type of gear to festivals like EDC and Coachella. So very popular and very niche fashion. I didn't know anything about it. I just knew that there was a large group of people who wanted and wore that type of stuff. So really what my job was, was to go out and find these steampunk suppliers who were selling steampunk products, I would list it on my store and then I would advertise it using Facebook ads to people who were into steampunk. Once somebody saw the ad and bought my product, my supplier would ship it directly out to my customer. So I didn't ever have to carry any inventory. In just over one month, I went from $0, a brand new store, to doing over $60,000 a month selling these steampunk products and gear. Within three months, I was doing over $100,000 a month with this steampunk store. And I was able to leave my job after I hit that. I probably could have left earlier, but that's the time that I left. This was September, 2016. And I had a store that was doing over $100,000 a month when I quit. Now, after I left my job, I started two more stores also in the fashion niche. And at the highest point, these three stores were taking in or bringing in over $250,000 a month across these three stores. All fashion stores, all selling products that I wasn't personally into, I just knew that there was a hungry market for it. So this business, this e-commerce, or in this case, this drop shipping business made me my first $100,000 and actually a lot more than that, where cash in the bank, I'm looking at it, it's in my account, $100,000 plus strictly from this online business. Now it's a lot harder to start a drop shipping business the way that I did it back in the day, because there was a lot less competition and a lot less people knew about the model, but you can still apply some of the lessons that I used to build this business to $100,000 a month plus, and you can apply this to any business. 
business. So I wanna share those three steps with you right now to make your first $100,000 or next $100,000 online. So the first step to replicate what I did is to pick a niche. A niche is a group of people with shared characteristics who have a problem you can solve or who wanna achieve a certain result. For me, it was steampunk lovers. Now, the problem that they had was that they couldn't find steampunk gear easily online. So I didn't know much about steampunk, but I knew just from doing a little bit of research that it was hard to find steampunk clothing and gear and glasses and jewelry. And so I was solving a problem where it was hard to find this stuff online. And I became one of the biggest steampunk stores online that could help them solve that problem. So with this steampunk group, I had a niche of hungry potential buyers who were looking for a product, but they didn't have a solution. They didn't have a place to buy it from. So that's step one, pick a niche, a hungry niche who has a problem that you can solve or this group of people has something that they want to achieve. Step two is to craft a delicious offer. You've picked a niche, you've chosen a problem that you want to help them solve, and now you have to put together an offer that solves that problem. For my steampunk niche, my offer was to give them a central place where they could find a gold mine of different steampunk products and gear. So it became their go-to spot for buying all things steampunk. It was difficult to find these products anywhere else, so my store became that irresistible or that tasty, delicious offer for them because now they could go to one place and get everything they need in one place. It was actually pretty funny because I used to go to music festivals festivals like Coachella and I would see people there wearing my products, wearing the sunglasses I was selling and the watches I was selling. And so at one point I went to Coachella in 2018 and I saw hundreds, if not thousands of people wearing the products that I was selling on my store, which was pretty awesome. Step three is to get traffic to your offer. Traffic in its simplest terms means people seeing your stuff. There are free traffic methods, which means you're not paying any money to get traffic, but it does take a bit more time and effort. And then there are paid traffic methods, which means you are paying money to speed up the process, but the downside is you are paying money. Now for this particular business, the steampunk e-commerce business, I just went straight into Facebook ads. And so that's a paid traffic method. I was paying for ad space on Facebook to show my products to people who are interested in steampunk. But nowadays with how powerful social media is, I would highly recommend you start with free organic methods first to validate that people want your offer. And once it's selling, then you can speed it up with paid traffic methods like Facebook ads or YouTube ads or any type of ads where you're paying for. I think paid traffic methods are best once you've already proven that your offer is selling and you just want to add some fuel to the fire. So now you know how I made my first $100,000 online. I also give you a simple three-step process I went through to do this so that you can generate your first or next $100,000 online with your business as well. And now I want to give you some actual valid business ideas that you can start for $100 or less to get your income up, to get your money up in 2023 and beyond. So there's going to be a link somewhere around this video on five online business ideas is that you can start for $100 or less. And these are business models that are great to start right now. So click the link to watch, apply these three steps that you learn in this video to whatever business model you choose, and you'll be on your way to your first or next $100,000 online as well. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.